The core idea for Concrete Genie actually came from a brainstorming process that we executed with the team where one of our artists, Ashwin, created a piece of artwork that illustrated a character being bullied. And he overcame that by creating artwork within the wall. So Concrete Genie is a game about a boy who can bring his paintings to life. So all of our gameplay and our unique features are about having fun with paint and using the DualShock 4 to create amazing landscapes, but also make creatures that you can bring to life. And they have all kinds of interesting quirks and personalities and abilities depending on how you paint them. The goal is to make anyone feel like they could be an artist. It's a big part of our player fantasy. It's effortless and it's full of joy. And a lot of our progression mechanics in the game are about learning these new techniques for you to play around with and have a lot of fun with. We're really lucky in that we wanted to use the power and the tech of the PlayStation 4 to make the drawings come to life within the walls. And we've developed an awful lot of, of technology as well as design mechanics to help anybody make something as effortlessly as possible in this game. I, for example, can't draw in real life, but in this game, I feel like I can. And so whatever the marks that you make with the DualShock as you gesture around in this world, we take that mark that you've made and we embellish it and we grow it into, into something really beautiful. I'm hoping that people get that same feeling that they did when they were kids and sort of drew with a crayon for the first time or looked at, a, at the first illustration in a children's book. I really hope that people feel that when they're creating their own artwork. We can animate and bring to life these incredible creatures who all have their own AI and their own distinct look and they're all completely unique to each player. It's not just about creating artwork. It really is quite a bit more. It's about the adventure also. One of the things that we learned from making Entwined was that if we're going to invest our heart and soul in, in making a game that has a message um, to it, we wanted to make sure that with this game, we put it into a structure that people were going to have a lot easier time getting into. And so we decided to invest in making a third-person action adventure because that's a platform that we love. Um, we love those type of games. And then all of our amazing kind of painting gameplay sits on top of that base. Entwine was a perfect first project for the team. What we learned from Entwine is that we wanted to continue to make games that, that have an emotional connection with the player, you know, games that, that have heart. And that's sort of one of our internal mandates is that we make sure that we have games that resonate with people from an emotional point of view. That's been important for Concrete Genie. There's something really just intuitively fantastic about making these marks in the world and seeing them come to life as well. I'd say the main thing we hope people will feel is joy. I feel as an artist this, this game is really a, a dream come true because I think uh, if you're a young person drawing in the back of the classroom or, or sketching and uh, we really give you the ability to have that same feeling that you do as a kid but um, have your drawings come to life. I mean that's, that's um, is an absolute dream come true.